Fire Emblem Three Houses is one of our all time favorite games on the Switch. Yeah, it is honestly just a really good game. I feel like it's one of the few games that I would replay. I'm not a huge replayer of games, but Three Houses kind of gives you a little something different every time. Yeah, you can go back to it again and again, can't you? Mm -hmm. I think we actually put it in a video of like top 10 must play games on the Switch or yep. something like that. So I think it's fair to say that we rate it pretty damn highly, but we actually haven't been longtime Fire Emblem fans. Now, Three Houses was actually our first game in the series, and for me at least, it was one of my first strategy RPGs. And I do have a feeling that we're probably not alone there. Three Houses is the highest selling Fire Emblem game by almost a million units. It's currently sitting at like 3.8 million. And when you combine that with the overwhelming popularity of the Switch, we are sure that many of us were introduced to the series here. So we're speaking for the people when we say that we were hyped for Engage. Intelligent Systems, the developers, clearly stumbled upon a winning formula with Three Houses. So what could go wrong, right? Well, nothing necessarily went wrong, but they definitely threw us a little bit of a curveball because Engage is quite different. Like, a lot different. Yeah, so it's not identical to Three Houses, of course, but it's still a really good tactical RPG. Yeah, I'm not saying, I'm not trying to say it's a bad game because it's not, it is a good game. Just if you adored Three Houses like we did, then you're gonna be in for a little bit of a shock. True, but there's still plenty to love. As we said before, at its core, all Fire Emblem games are tactical RPGs, and that is never gonna change. So if you like that genre, then you're automatically winning and Engage is still a safe bet. Turn-based battles on a grid aren't exactly everybody's cup of tea for sure, but Fire Emblem has all but perfected them at this point. They are the kings. There are a few minor differences in the strategy RPG gameplay that Engage introduces, most notably the emblems. These are characters from past Fire Emblem games that you can essentially equip to your units. We'll talk a little bit more about the actual characters later, but in battle they add a bunch of really nice mechanics like special abilities and ultimate moves and cool things like that. Yeah, so for example, if you bond with Micaiah, you can heal your entire party at once no matter where they are on the battlefield. Celica allows for teleportation and dual attacks, and Lin can fire arrows from ages away. They also make your unit all glowy and cool looking, which I'm definitely a fan of. Laura likes glowing, <laughs> shiny cool things. <laughs> yeah. Shiny things. Shiny. It's like Super Saiyan, you know, but like white and blue. Yeah, and I'm like a magpie, so. <laughs> They're like this Australian bird that like loves shiny things for you. They've got them in New people. Zealand, are they everywhere else? No, man. Oh, they are in New Zealand. They're a yeah, us yeah. thing. So basically, if you at all like SRPGs or any other Fire Emblem game, you'll also like Engage because that's what it is. A really good SRPG. Unfortunately though, that's all it is. Pretty much every other element that was present in Three Houses has been stripped away here. And it's a damn shame. They were like my favorite elements. I'm a huge Sim fan. So if I ever get the chance to grow crops or like nurture relationships or build hospitals or anything, then I'm in. And Three Houses had all of those things. Except for the hospitals, obviously. One of my favourite things about that game was being able to recruit the other students from the rest of the school. If you talked to a character enough times, you gave them a few presents, took them out on a few cheeky tea dates here and there, then all of a sudden you would have a new unit to use in battle. It was almost like a social sim element, which I really loved. And in Engage, it's just not there at all. You just get given new characters as the game progresses. And it's just nowhere near as interesting, to be honest. Social sims, man, that's what... This game is missing stuff. Yeah. I want to get married. Not really, I don't really care. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Tom, you idiot. <laughs> so Engage has its own version of the Garrick Mark Monastery, which is where all these fun things that Laura's talking about take place. It's called the Somniel, and it's okay, but it's just so watered down. In Three Houses, training your party is presented as a lecture in a classroom. You're their teacher, helping to nurture their skills, and it just gives you a reason to go back to it. In Engage, you literally just select someone from a list, and then they'll gain some experience. 
In three houses, there's a greenhouse where you plant and tend to crops. And in Engage, there is an orchard, but it just randomly drops items without you ever having to do anything. It's all very streamlined, I guess you would say. Streamlined is actually a good way of putting it. Engage is a very straightforward Fire Emblem experience where you go from one battle to the next, essentially. Sure, there's a little bit of preparing to do in between, like upgrading your weapons and polishing your emblem rings, but the main focus is 100% on the battles this time around. And look, that might be a good thing for you. You might have only been interested in three houses because of its battle system. And if that's the case, then, oh man, do we have a game for you. It's Engage. But for us, there was just so, so much more to Three Houses. And all of those elements were just so much fun. Teaching us students and organizing seminars and doing side quests, they were all just such great ways of leveling up your characters. And in Engage, I only train them because I feel obliged to. It does seem like a pretty strange choice to me, like Three Houses was the highest selling game of the series and then with the next entry it was just kind of like they stripped away everything that was unique and interesting about the last game at all. If it was me, I definitely would have kept those elements. It didn't have to be in a school or anything like the last game, but just something, something more. Oh man, I so agree. But there is actually one thing that Engage does that isn't present in the previous titles. And honestly, it's a big in. It's a pretty big in. So in Three Houses, there's all of these kitties and puppies and they're everywhere and they do absolutely nothing. Like, I'm pretty sure you can just like walk right through them most of the time. I think so. Sucks. But in Engage, at the end of every fight, you can walk around the battlefield and adopt kitties and other animals, but kitties. <laughs> Honestly, it might be my favorite thing about the whole game. Here, check out my army of kitties. Aren't they so cute? They like drop items and stuff, but honestly, I'm, I'm not really interested in that. I'm just in it for the pure wholesomeness of adopting a horde of kitties. So yeah, there's a bit of like social stuff for you. Yeah, the cats definitely make up for at least like five brownie points. Yeah, it gives it gets some points back. Okay, so we've already talked about the gameplay being really streamlined, but it's not the only thing. The story itself is also extremely straightforward. You, the player, wake up from a thousand years sleep. A great evil is threatening the world and you've got to collect all the emblem rings to defeat it. And that's like it, man. There's like one or two little twists, but honestly, it's nothing that we didn't see coming. And I can't even imagine summing up Three House's story in a single sentence. That's because you can't, dude. Like there is so much going on in that game. Hell, you can't even mention the second half of it because there's like a giant twist and like rocks you to your foundations and you can't mention it because like spoilers changes the whole game up. I just don't understand this. Like, what would Nintendo and Intelligence Systems thinking taking such a great narrative in Three Houses and then stripping things away? I do actually have a theory about it. I think that they thought that the nostalgia of all of the past Fire Emblem characters would be enough to carry the story. And hey, if you've been a Fire Emblem fan since the early days, then maybe it was. There's like a whole group of missions where the guys talk about their previous adventures in their respective games, but we just don't understand any of it. All the nostalgia that we have just comes from Smash Brothers. Having said that, it's not like you have to play all the previous games in the series to know what's going on. Again, the story's pretty damn simple, but there are a lot of parts that just aren't going to hit anywhere near as hard if you haven't. I feel like this is a fan service game. Is that fair? Yeah, yeah, it is. They're bringing all these protagonists together that date back to the first games. And if that's not fan service, then honestly, I don't know what is. But I've already made, what's his name? But I've already made Marth fight Roy in Smash Brothers. And I just don't know if I really needed it more. Smash Brothers is pretty fan service here. <laughs> if Three Houses was the best selling game in the series, and potentially introduced a whole new legion of fans to Fire Emblem, then is it wise to make the next game lean so heavily into the past? I don't know, man. I don't have all the facts and figures in front of me, but it just seems like a weird decision. Like, I don't know, it doesn't make much sense. 
I guess that it just goes back to the devs prioritizing the battle system. Nothing seems like it was given as much attention as the tactical elements were. Maybe they were going back to basics or something. Maybe the team was worn out after making such an in-depth title before. Maybe I'm just making excuses. <laughs> Unfortunately though, it is just the cold hard truth that Engage does not live up to its predecessor. Don't get us wrong, it is a really good game and we're having fun with it, but it just isn't a must play on the Switch. If you're looking to get into the Fire Emblem series and you came here to decide which game you should play, then hand down, go for three houses. Like, I don't even think it's a competition anymore. So in the ultimate battle of Fire Emblem versus Fire Emblem, three houses has emerged victorious in a landslide! Anyways, let us know which game you prefer. I'm sure many of you probably hated the school setting and the social sim aspects of Three Houses. And our opinions are just that, our opinions. So drop a comment below, we'd love to hear from you either way. Don't forget to super smash brothers that subscribe button for your weekly Nintendo content. And one like equals one prayer for me because Tom has been farting throughout the entire recording of this video. <laughs> See you next hey! time. <laughs> Call me out like that, dude. <laughs> yeah, bye. <laughs> Stop. What are you doing? Fanning away your farts. <laughs> hey, my farts smell good, thank you.